Hey guys, in the following tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to add the slideshows to your pages with your new theme. So all you have to do is, once you've created slideshows, and if you don't know how to do that, I suggest checking out the previous tutorial on creating slideshows. Um, you can do that by just going to slideshows and adding new. And once that is done, you'll then have the option to add a slideshow to any page within your site. So I'm going to go to an existing page that I have created and I will show you how to add one of three blocks to add a slideshow. Um, there are three layouts you can see on the demo site uh, on the different home pages, home A, B and C, and uh, each of them will have a different style. Uh, so to add a slideshow, all you have to do is come down to the layout section and add a slideshow block. So as you can see, I have a slideshow block already available. But if I wanted to add an additional slideshow block or a different style, all I would have to do is go to add block and then simply find the slideshow block in this settings area. So here you have slideshow one, slideshow two and slideshow three. The first slideshow is a, uh, can be a full screen slideshow or fixed height. Slideshow two is this sort of masonry style slideshow um, and the images slide uh, throughout that, it's quite beautiful. And slideshow three is the uh, classic visible nearby. So image each side of the main image focused in the center. Now, if you want to add the slideshow to the slideshow block, just simply hit edit. And then you'll scroll down. Now with slideshow one, uh, you will have an option to display the header. And that is, do you want to display the header over the slideshow image? And as you can see in this case, I actually removed the header block because yes, I want to display the header. Now, if I go ahead and I add a header block, so header placeholder, I'll explain how that, or why you would like to remove that if you're nailing that. So as standard, the page will have, always have a header block available. Let me just close that. It will always have a header block available. And if you display the header, then it will actually have two headers on the page. So it's probably not going to look that great. Um, if you only want the slideshow below the header in this white bar, then just turn this off and keep a header, header block enabled. If you want the, uh, uh, the header over the image, display the header and remove this placeholder. And I will show you that in a moment just so you can see what I mean. So next you'll want to go and select the slideshow. So if you click uh, part B, select slideshow, you can select the slideshow that you want to show on the page. And again, choose the slideshow height, full screen or specific. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use full screen. And uh, that's pretty much everything uh, that you need to know. The rest is just uh, font options, etc. Um, and you can just go ahead and add those by clicking the little pencil icon. Now I'm just going to uh, close that and then I'm going to update this page. And then we'll just check it out. Again, remember, I've kept the header placeholder and said, yes, I want to have a header over the slider. You'll see that it probably doesn't look correct, um, but this will just uh, prove the point that I was trying to make so that it's a bit clearer for you guys. So now you can see that we have the standard header, which is the header placeholder, and we also have a header integrated into the slideshow. Um, as you can tell, you probably are not going to want the, the, this header block um, because you want it to look more like this, this full screen slider option. So in that case, all you would do is you have two options. You either disable the display of the header and turn it off like so. And whenever we update that, uh, we will then just have a regular uh, header block at the top and just a slideshow below, nice and simple and clean. Or uh, the option that I believe most users will, will uh, prefer to use would be then to actually remove the header. So let's remove this header placeholder item and actually enable the header. Now, it will, if you're using this slider further down the page, of course, you will use this option. You will just turn off the header. Um, if you're using it as the main item at the top of the page, then I imagine you will want the header integrated into the slideshow. So just do that, hit update, and then you'll see that this header block has now been removed and the header will now show in the slideshow. Perfect. Now, as mentioned, you have three options as well for the slideshows. So again, I'm gonna add the other two and go 
go through this process one or twice more just so you can see how that works. So I'm going to add slideshow two, and I'm also going to add slideshow three, and I'm going to select the different sliders for those. So slideshow two, I'm just going to select a slideshow, and again, slideshow three, I am just going to add a slideshow as well. Now with slideshow uh, three, you do have the option to add the slideshow height uh, immediately, and you also have the option to have the slides between or the gap between the slides. So here you can see A um, is for the slideshow height and for the slide the gap between the slides. So again, if you want to increase the gap or reduce it, uh, you can do so. I'm just going to keep it as default at 15 pixels. Again, do I want this navigation just below? And I'll, and I'll show you where that is, but. It basically just uh, is the number of images that are shown in the slideshow. So do you want the navigation, yes or no? Turn that on or off. So again, just gonna update this page and show you each of the slideshows. And uh, that's it guys. So there's not really much else to adding a slideshow to a page. As mentioned, it can be added anywhere in the page. It doesn't have to be at the, at the very top as I've shown here. Uh, you can add the slideshow blocks in different locations uh, throughout the page, um, really giving you a lot of flexibility with this lovely theme. Again, as you can see, we have the uh, navigation here with the uh, arrows, not through four, because we've only got four images in here. So again, you can turn that off and keep it super clean and simple. Um, if required, it's in the settings area. So that's it, it guys. If you have any questions, just drop us a comment, and hopefully you're able to start adding slideshows to your pages.